I got nervous. I got nervous, Tammy, when you asked Santa about if Val was on the naughty or nice list. <laughs> I'm glad you can confirm that I'm hopefully on the, on, the, on the good list. Good stuff, Tammy, out there. Love seeing all those lights. So over a million lights. It's beautiful out there. And I mean, the holiday season has officially started. Welcome into our next weather sphere here as we get our weekend started off with our Friday evening looking out over the city. A beautiful evening out there. Like Tammy said, it's a little cool. Not quite as cold tonight as where we have been over the last couple of mornings, but overall we're looking at a nice warm up that will lead us all the way through the weekend. Temperatures back in the 60s as we head through our Saturday and Sunday. Now tomorrow there is that little fly in the ointment and that fly comes in the form of a fire threat. All right, dry conditions, breezy conditions, and with the ongoing drought, there's a lot of fuel that is primed and ready. If there's any spark with the wind out there tomorrow, fires can spread pretty quickly. So be careful through, especially tomorrow afternoon. Let's talk rain. We need a little bit of that, don't we? In fact, we need a lot of it as we try to pull ourselves out of the drought as we head through the next several months. We will see the chance of rain arrive Wednesday into Thursday. I'll show you the latest one of our, one of our forecast models here in just a second. Going into our evening, we'll see wind speeds there probably around five to 10 miles per hour. That will take temperatures in the 40s overnight, but still make it feel like the low 40s, maybe some upper 30s to start off your Saturday morning. By around seven o'clock tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the mid and low 40s. Meanwhile, another place that does the holidays right is Washington Street Mall there in Cape May. Nice evening out there. You got some lights on the trees already and clear skies out there and temperatures are slowly cooling. Let's take a look at those forecast lows as we go into our Saturday morning where many places once again will be dropping down into the low and mid 40s. I think Millville, you'll probably be right around 40 degrees. Atlantic City, you'll drop down to around 42. Cape May will be near 47 degrees. Philadelphia, probably right around 44, 45 degrees. Very similar to this morning. Lehigh Valley, same thing. Pots down around 42 Allentown, you'll drop down to around 42 degrees as well. So clear skies out there, but the breeze will help insulate the atmosphere just a little bit, keeping temperatures from dropping off otherwise cooler than what they would have been. 63 tomorrow afternoon. All right, so watching out for that elevated fire risk tomorrow, breezy through tomorrow afternoon. So that pile of leaves that you rake up in the morning, the wind's going to come in and blow that around tomorrow. So maybe save the raking for Sunday with temperatures up around 64 degrees under partly cloudy skies. All right, let's talk rain here. We need a little rain and it looks like it comes in our way as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. I think we're dry through the first half of the week, but watch as we go from Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. That warm front pushes north. Actually, it'll give us a little boost in our temperatures, but it also taps into some of that tropical moisture that will start to spread some showers across the area as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. I know you're already looking at it. Look at the blue. That would be snow forecast models hinting at the possibility of some Midwest snow. I don't think it's going to make its way too far east. The low pressure system tracks to the north. That will take the moisture with it, but it will certainly bring in the cooler air for us as we go into Thursday afternoon. But we'll watch that. We'll see if we can get some snow flurries. At this point, we just want some type of precipitation, right? We need it. We are well in the deficit. In fact, over eight inches in the deficit for fall so far. Next weather seven day forecast has put it all together for you before we let you go into your Friday evening. Temperatures stay in the 60s all the way through the weekend into early next week. Little dip in temperatures on Tuesday. We're back to 66 on Wednesday, but remember rain coming in through Wednesday afternoon, likely carrying over into Thursday, and there's that cooler air coming in behind the rain. 49 on Thursday with highs right around 50 as we head into Friday. All right, more CBS News Philadelphia at 6. Coming right back after the break.